Hi guys. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a waffle premium in Rhinoceros TV environment with a few simple steps. We'll so let's start by drawing a rectangle from curve rectangle tree. I'm going to use three points. I'm going to start with a corner, give a length of 60 meter for the rectangle. Press shift for orthogonal projection and then click and enter and the width is going to be 40 meter going to give 40 meter and press enter i'm going to draw a profile of the raffle pavilion so i'll just do my grip snap off and o snap off as well so that i don't have any problem drawing my shape close to the edge of the rectangle I'm going to draw a basic outline, which is basically a, th a three, which is basically a three spaces connected together. So, uh, so I'm going to do that by left clicking on curve interpolate point. So this, so let's start off by drawing a basic shape. I'm going to edit this shape to get the desired profile of the boundary. Select the object and press enter. I want to increase the number of control points so as to have more control over the geometry. We can do that by rebuilding this. Go to edit, rebuild, select the curve, press enter. So at present the point count is 12 and degree is 3. I'm going to increase it to 18 and the degree will remain to 3 and press enter so now if i switch on the control point you can see there are more number of control points around the edge of the curve so now i i can easily edit it i'm going to edit this curve slightly so as to get the maximum area within the rectangle and also give it sort of an interesting shape you don't have to worry about the precision because it's a free form geometry yeah, I'm happy with that so now I'm going to draw the profile of the three circular columns around the center of these three areas so let's go to curve center radius I, I press close to the center of this volume so my diameter is going to be about 4 meter and do the same thing again for other two areas by default the diameter is 4 so I just press enter I'm going to tweak it a little bit so to get more interesting shapes out of that. So in the next step, I'm going to add three more ellipses, but this time they are going to be much larger than these ones. So let's press ellipse. The center is going to coincide the center of these columns. So let's take that from the center and the side and let's try to make them as wide as possible but still remaining inside the outer profile of the curve see like this so we can just further edit them by using gumball We try to get them as big as possible. Don't worry about the precision at this point of time. You just have to make sure that there is sufficient distance between the outer profile and the edge of the ellipse. So that will complete my basic drawing work. Now that we have all the guidelines ready, we're going to start by making a 3D shape for the pavilion. I'm going to use this outer profile curve 
and the pavilion height is going to be about 10 meters so i'm just going to move it to 10 meters by clicking on the gumball red axis and since the drawing is already in meters so i can just press 10 and hit enter so now we are going to convert this curve into a surface we go to surface planar curve select the curve and press enter let's go to our shade mode so that we can clearly see that and this surface is very rigid and we want to make it more dynamic and free flowing so we can simply edit this by moving control point and let's go to control point on select the surface and press enter by default its UV count is 2 so we'll need to rebuild it go to edit rebuild select the surface and press enter so the present UV count is 2 and I'm going to keep it to 12 and 12 and press ok now we have more number of control points now we can see lot many number of control points and we can play with them so I'm going to just move these control points to give it interesting dynamic form yeah this looks good so we'll just press escape delete the profile cells now we'll again go back to a top view now I'm going to trim these areas which are lying inside the larger ellipse so let's go to edit trim select the cunning object these iso curves are going to help me pick the surface so uh, I'll press enter and select the areas which are lying inside this ellipse and press enter now let's again going back to perspective view so now we can see we have these large voids inside the main surface now we are going to detail out these supporting structures so I am going to select these three ellipse and extrude them to a height of about 4 meters by going to surface extrude curve weight by default this is going to the y axis which is good so I'm going to give it a height of 4 meter and press enter we're going to connect these two boundaries together so one is that we can just simply loaf them let's see surface loaf that's the cross section and press enter but as you can see I am not getting that continuity between these two surfaces so we need to adopt a different method I am going to delete this one of my favorite tools is surface blend go to surface blend surface we will pick these two edges it is immediately showing me the seam of the new surface so as for the geometry I am going to drag this point towards the nodal end of this ellipse and press enter I can see a guideline or a cross section which has a tangential relationship with these two surfaces so I can I can select any of these options and drag these control points from the bar we can also preview the surface by checking this on and I can immediately see a nice blended surface between these two objects and I can still drag these bars here and test my design so I am happy with this so I will press ok I will do that for rest of the two areas so again I am going to pick these two edges press enter again probably this could be more smoother press enter 
I'm going to join all these surfaces together by selecting them and press Control J. Now we can delete these curves as we are not going to need them anymore. Now we are going to choose an offset to the surface based on the thickness of the vessels. So we go to surface, offset surface, select surface, press enter. Distance, we are going to give a thickness 0.75 meters. The direction is downwards which is ok, so we will just press enter. This gives us a tentative volume between which we are going to create our reference structures. But before that we need to convert it into solid. But as you can see it has the loose openings from the bottom and the sides. So we are going to first close them. For that I am again going to use surface blend tool. Select the two edges and press enter and I can preview my edge from the cross section here. I can move these two bars here to detail out my edge and press OK. I am again going to join this edge and the two surfaces together. I need but I still need to convert this into a solid object and it's an open poly surface I need to plug these holes which are sitting in the bottom. I can simply cap them by typing cap select object enter. Now if I see it has become a closed poly surface. I can check this for any continuity errors by going to analyze surface environmental map. As you can see the object is pretty neat with no continuity errors or edge defects. I can close this. Now the basic 3D form of my vehicle pavilion is complete. We are going to create baffles by making cross section out of the surface. We can do that by making cross sections or contour out of it. So I am going to type contour and press enter. So it is going to ask me to select object for contour. I select the object and press enter. Now it is going to ask me for a direction vector which starts off with the base point. Instead of perpendicular, I want the raffles to be diagonal in direction. By default it is giving me a direction of 90 degrees. So I can change the ortho settings by right clicking on ortho, go to settings. From here on I can change the default settings from 95 to 45 degrees and press OK. Now if I again give the contour command and select the object, you can see my direction is snapping for 45 degrees on all the sides. So I can choose the direction and click. So that sets the direction for the contours and the distance between contours will keep it as 1.3 meter and press enter. So at this point I am going to join all these curves and group them as well. I am going to again repeat this step for making contour. Select the object and okay. but this time I am going to change the direction perpendicular to the previous one and press enter. Again I am going to join them and group them again. So that makes the cross section profile for the baffle. Let's just hide this parent body. Now we are going to give thickness to these cross sections. Go to solid, planar curve, straight, select one of the group, press enter. By default it is getting excluded in vertical direction. You can change the direction by clicking on the direction option here and select the vector. We will give it an extrusion distance of 0.1 meter. 
Similarly, for the other group, we're going to make an exclusion. Two planar curves, great. Select the other group, press enter. And again, by default, exclusion distance is 0.1, then select enter. So that completes our wrapper structure. We can view it in other modes. I hope you liked the tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.